Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Time for another segment on building this new ST70 kit. If there's any parts or tools that are specific to this segment or the build in general, check the description below. Can't guarantee that these links are going to be good months from now, so if they're dead, when you go to look, you may have to go hunt these parts somewhere else. Don't email me. I'm not going to hunt them up for you. So that said, let's get busy building. So the next thing we need to do is mount the power transformer. And like I said earlier, this guy needs to be painted. Then they instruct you to put these little, they call them rubber spacers, but they're really just kind of hard plastic. And I guess that's going to help any possible vibration or noise you might get from that. And then we're going to pull all these wires through like that. And then it's a little tricky to get this like up on here, but it's not that tricky. And then you've got this like this. And then we come in with some of these keeps nuts. and tighten that down and you want to be kind of careful when you're painting these things not to just load up a ton of paint onto those studs because then you won't be able to put these nuts on and i can i can feel there's a little bit of paint on them but not enough to really cause a problem so then we come in with our ratchet with our little socket on it and tighten these guys down yeah so I, can, I can feel a little paint on there but that's not going to hurt anything if you don't paint the transformer you put some tape on these threads which might have been a good idea you wouldn't have to deal with that. They would just screw down with your fingers. Now you don't want to get these crazy tight because it is kind of squishing down on that little plastic washer. But I want to get them tight enough where there, there is any kind of slight vibration from the power transformer. It's not going to vibrate these things loose. There we go. Power transformers installed. Yeah. Bottom cover got a little scuffed up inside the amp. I'm not concerned about that. I mean, as anal retentive as I am about some things, I'm not going to worry about that. Now, one thing I did order was some rubber grommets for these holes. They don't come with rubber grommets, and they don't talk about installing any there. I feel like anytime you have wires coming through a hole like that, you need to have a grommet on them. So these are little 5 8 rubber grommets. You can find them at the hardware store or like I said, you can get them on Amazon. And I just feel like that's a nice kind of safety thing to do. And on Skunky Designs, we're all about safety. So before we put the output transformer on the amp, we need to bolt down this little choke because the screws for it are underneath the output transformer. So again, we come in with a couple of screws with some keeps nuts and bolt down this choke and then we'll come in and do the other side like this and we'll flip it up and tighten those two nuts up Now 
Now these you want to get pretty tight. And you don't want these coming loose. That can end up being a hassle. So once we've got our choke in place, we're going to kind of run the wires like that. We're going to put our output transformer on. And you're going to use the brown, yellow, orange, and black wires go in the back because they go to our speaker jacks. With one of them goes up to the negative feedback. I believe it's the yellow one, but I have to look at the... Don't quote me on that yet. And again, we're running them through these rubber grommets that I got. I just, I really feel like that's a, a good idea when you have wires running through a metal chassis that you have rubber grommets just to make sure they don't ever short out to the chassis because that would be really a bad thing. And this little nut is a little fun to get started, but once you get started, there it goes. Then put the other one in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get these output transformers bolted down and then show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the amp. And just like on this side where we had to install the choke before we installed the output transformer. Let me scoot this back so you can see a little better. On this side, you need to install this tag strip on this screw because the screw is underneath the output transformer. And so this is a smaller 440 screw with a keeps nut. And you orient the tag strip like this. Get this nice and tight. And then again, you put the red with the blue and green wires in the front. And in the back, you put the black, orange, yellow, and brown wires. And then use the larger 832 screws and nuts to hold the transformer down. And as you tighten these down, if you decide to use these grommets like I did, you'll note that the transformer bell kind of crushes the grommet down in place. Not a problem. It just really gives it a nice tight fit. So the last thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to install the tube sockets. And the tube sockets for the output tubes are pretty simple to orient. You put the keyway, which is right there, towards the outside. So on these two tubes, the keyway goes that direction. And then on these two tubes, it goes in this direction. And then for the rectifier tube, the keyway goes towards the capacitor, like that. So the instructions tell you to put a ground lug onto each one of these tube sockets. We're not going to be grounding the output tube that way. So if you want to build it according to the instructions and have the 10 ohm resistor from the cathode to ground, you know, grounding through the chassis, then you would put a ground lug on these four screws. But again, I'm going to be grounding the cathodes up to these front jacks and then to pull them over to the star ground point and not run the signal ground through the chassis. So let me get all these bolted down. So at this point, we have speaker jacks installed on the back of both sides. We have the choke installed underneath this output transformer. And have this output transformer bolted down. We've got the power transformer bolted down with the plastic spacer between the transformer and the chassis. We have the tag strip installed underneath this output transformer. 
and we have this output transformer bolted down. I used rubber grommets between the transformer and these end bells where the wires go through. You can decide if you want to do that or not. There were 5 8 rubber grommets. And then keyway, keyway. And then on this side we have keyway, keyway, keyway. So these three, the keyway faces that direction. And then these two face this direction. And looks like a great place to wrap up this video. So that wraps up another segment of this ST70 new kit build. Want to add that this is not sponsored by Tubes for Hi-Fi, nor do I have any affiliation with them. This kit was drop shipped to me by a viewer that commissioned me to build this for them. Now I don't normally do like kit builds professionally, so. Yeah, I may or may not be willing to do it in the future. We'll see what that's all about. But for now, we're just doing this one for the channel and for some fun. I want to thank all you Patreon supporters and folks that make donations at my website. If you find this information useful, please consider joining my Patreon or making a donation at my website. It really helps fund future projects and keeps this channel going. I also want to thank you regular viewers and especially you subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. It's not a big deal to do. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps the channel grow and other people see my fun content. So that's going to wrap this up. Until the next segment, have a nice day. Yeah.